Minasan, a Karina Sai. Today, we have the most talented guitarist around. Honestly, one of the most talented musicians, period. And she's like beyond gorgeous. Riko Kohara, born February 3rd in 1990. There's actually like a ridiculous amount of birthdays in February, holy. But back to Riko, she is from the Gifu Prefecture and currently a freelancer. Her interest in voice acting began in high school. Growing up, she was a fan of manga and anime like Naruto. She later moved to Tokyo to pursue a music career and graduated from ESP College of Entertainment, a vocational school that specializes in electric guitar and bass. Rico was originally on vocals, but was asked to switch to guitar because the band that she joined, their guitarist, became a vocalist. So basically, they just swapped roles. At first, she started with an acoustic guitar, and after getting bored of it, she switched to an electric one. While she was in school, she studied under guitarist Masanori Kusakabe, who was also from the Gifu Prefecture. After studying under him for so long, she would inherit Kusakabe's playing style. In July of 2011, she became a member of The Sketchbook, a band based on a fictional group in the anime Sket Dance. She had learned of the band hosting auditions while she was attending the ESP college, although she had not played guitar in three months and was actually considering quitting. But naturally, she passed their audition and won the guitarist position. Joined by Hiroshi Tada and Yu Watanabe, the three of them performed the opening, endings, and insert songs for the anime. The band did disband in 2015 as the members wanted to focus on their own dreams. But back in 2014, one year prior to the sketchbook's disbandment, Riko debuted as a voice actress, with her first role as a vegetable hater boy in Sorayuke on Panman, a very popular children's anime with a lot of episodes. 2015 was also the year that she joined her former agency Object. Odd name choice, but as you'll see later, they made a few questionable decisions. 2016 was her first named role of Riko. Couldn't have chosen a better character. This was in the Fantasy Star Online 2 animation. Then at the end of the year was her first main role, Nanami Hoshi in Idle Memories. I really gotta watch this. In 2018, she was Gecko in Sanran Kagura Shinobi Master. That's great and all, but the big thing also happened this year. Kohara was recruited by the Bushy Road president Takaki Kidani to join the music franchise Bang Dream after a fan sent a video of her performing to him on social media. She joined the franchise's newest band, The Third, as a guitarist during its first live on March 25th, 2018. The band was later renamed to Raise a Ceiling at the second live in July, and the members received their own in-universe characters during the sixth Bandori live in December. With Rass, I definitely recommend you listen to Soul Soldier, and you can even see a live performance here on the tube. Her guitar skills are absolutely amazing. Riko's character, Roka Asahi, shares a very specific trait with her, being that she moved from Gifu to Tokyo. She debuted in 2019 with the second season of Bang Dream, and she was basically a main character for most of the season. Kohara actually used to perform with a Gibson Les Paul, but switched to a Strandberg after joining Rass, probably because her character uses the same guitar. And when it comes to her guitar, she actually cycles through a few of them during a full concert. She always switches to a 7-string guitar for the Soul Soldier and Drive Us Crazy performances. The final little Bandroid fact is that Riko used to host a corner in Bandroid TV called Saichi and Riko Peen's Jam Session, where her and Saichi shared Bandroid announcements through improvised songs, Riko Peen actually being a nickname for her and occasionally being called Riko P. Moving on to 2019, she had another dumb etchy role of Misa Aoi in Kandagawa Jet Girls. It is another lead role though, so good for her, and she sang the opening theme for Gifu no Tate Koyoko, a series that promoted her home Gifu Prefecture. In 2020, she was Karin in Tokyo Gambo, and Shirochan, the rabbit thing on the bottom left, in this weird animal show called Pekolis. Ai Furihata is actually in this with her too. Onto this year of 2022, fairly recently, she has voiced Mako Shirakabe in Teppen. And towards the beginning of the year, her agency completely shut down and apparently were in debt for many years. Yikes. In April, she would announce that she would go freelance. Over the years, she has had a few one or two episode characters in shows like Sket Dance, Caligula, The Eighth Son, Persona 5 The Animation, and more recently, World's End Harem. As for video games, her Bandori, Jet Girls, and Sunran Kagura roles. Then of course, Azir Lane and Arknights. Some other stuff too, but they don't even have wiki pages, so I doubt they're even remotely popular. Her concert appearances would include all of the thirds and Rass's Bandori lives, performing with them at Anisama in 2019, 2021, and 2022. Also, all of the performances they've done at various events. I swear they've been invited to more venues than even Poppypa has at this point. But aside from all this, she performed with Ryochi and Natsume, her fellow RAS members, at the Beta D4 DJ event that happened around late 2018. I really recommend you find this on that Chinese website. Her singing Luminous Once More, originally by Pastel Pellets, was beyond amazing. Really makes you wonder what would happen if she pursued vocals instead of guitar. But anyway, moving on to the fun facts. <laughs> 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 she 
she is 156 centimeters or 5 foot 1. On the socials, she has a Twitter. And that's it. Honestly, I think she would do really good on Instagram, but maybe in the future she'll get one. And she has her own gaming channel on YouTube called Rico Space. Actually, it's called Rico's Room now. But she plays a lot of Dead by Daylight and Fall Guys. Actually doing pretty well in the latter. <laughs> Not always, though. And I was gonna say, she has also done some full playthroughs of story based games as well. I definitely recommend the Outlast one, but uh, turn the volume down when it gets scary. She also does song covers on her channel, vocals and guitar versions. Some of the Guilty Kiss stuff she's covered is really awesome. But it seems when her agency shut down, she kind of reset her channel. Really unfortunate, I wanted to recommend some of that Guilty Kiss stuff and use some of her guitar playing as background music. But anyway, Rico's hobbies include bungee jumping, cosplaying, and aromatherapy. Her special skills are cooking and bending her thumb. Great. She can also wiggle her ears, which is something I'll never understand how people can do. She loves tomatoes and cake, while her least favorite food is uncooked rice. Do, do people eat uncooked rice? That's kind of weird. Anyway, her favorite colors are pink and white. How pure of her. Her favorite anime is Karikano, while her favorite manga is Death Note. And her favorite video game series is Animal Crossing. Earlier I did mention Naruto is what piqued her interest in anime, well she made an appearance on Masayoshi Oishi and Ari Suzuki's Annie Song cover show, Singing Bluebird, the third opening of Naruto Shippuden. Riko is still a very big fan of Naruto and ninjas in general, though she herself is not a very good Konoichi. The penultimate fact is more of a personal opinion, obviously all of the other girls are super attractive, but Riko P is also like really photogenic and I love every photo that she takes of herself. Some of those Lolita pictures she's taken over the years are just oh my. And the final fact about the beautiful Miss Riko Kohara is that she is left handed. Which I was originally shocked back when I first found out since I thought it was rare. And well, it, it is still rare, but there are actually like seven lefties that I follow. And with that, we've reached the ending. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and learned something new. Please join me in the next one, part two of the Seiyu Units videos. I look forward to seeing you there. Gomen,